What's up, everyone? It's every skillless, crutching D2 YouTuber back with an exciting build. This one uses the Immortal Adept with Cloud Strike. Hey, go, get out of here. Go, get, get, get. Hey, guys, sorry about that. Uh, someone broke into my studio. I don't, he said he's some big D2 YouTuber. I, I don't know, but this stuff is really cringy. Let's, like, let's go ahead and uh, equip the actual build here and we can start breaking it down. So if you didn't know, the other day we actually got access to the Wicked Implement Scout Rifle, a brand new exotic in the game, and this thing is pretty crispy. Now, I unlocked it earlier today, and I thought, well, where better to test it than a little saucy Trials of Osiris. The thing is, this weekend is Midtown Trials, which is a pretty long-range map in a lot of different spots of the map, so you can use this thing to pretty great extent. Now, this is a 180 RPM Scout Rifle, so it does require four taps to the noggin if you want to take somebody out. The thing is, you can do things like using Backrest, or even just a Stasis Weapon surge and if you do those you can actually three tap to the head pretty easily but just on its own it is going to four tap so keep that in mind now let's look at what it has first of all we have creeping attrition rapidly landing precision hits causes targets to become slowed so you hit three precision hits and every single precision hit after that is going to slow the target the thing is once you hit a fourth precision hit somebody is going to die but that doesn't mean this is a useless perk in PvP. The thing is, a lot of times, especially on maps like this, people are trying to team shot to the best of their ability. So if you can team shot with your team, you can actually go ahead and proc the creeping attrition on the first guy, and then use it on the second guy and slow him, make it very easy teams for your team. And then if the third guy happens to walk up, you can even start slowing him immediately and taking them out. This will last about four or five seconds once you stop shooting somebody in the head. So keep in mind, it does not last that long. Besides that, we do have Tithing Harvest. This says Precision Final Blows while Creeping Attrition is active. Create a Stasis Shard that returns to you. Collecting Stasis Shards refills the magazine. So if you do 4-tap somebody, or you can get it proc and start fighting a second guy, you know, either way, you kill them with a Precision Shot, you will get a Stasis Shard that flies all the way across the map straight to you, and automatically refills the entire magazine. Pretty good stuff right there, you'll love to see it, and uh, that'll even work better with a Stasis build, but we're not using that today. When it comes to our close range engagements, I actually wanted to use a Sidearm. I have not used Sidearms lately because they're so hard to use in the crazy crutch of Immortal meta, by the way, it's Immortal Weekend, so everyone's on trying to get that, but hey, target lock's getting nerfed. We'll, we'll talk about that more maybe in the gameplay, but right now, just see, I am using this Forgiveness right here. You can see moving target and multi-kill clip on this thing, 78 range. It's a pretty nice roll. It's looking good too, because I am the absolute pink warrior today. Coming over here to our mods and our armor, I am going to be using the Shinobu's Vow. This is one of my favorite exotics in the entire game when it comes to Hunter. Of course, I am a Blink Master, so I usually am always playing Blink Hunter, and Shinobu's is one of those exotics that have really risen in the power rankings for me over the past few months. So this will give us a second skip grenade, but on top of that, whenever we throw a skip grenade, it will do damage to the enemy, and based on the amount of damage it does, it'll actually recharge some energy back to the skip grenade. Great stuff right there. These skip grenades will also be jolting because we have a extra uh, fragment in our kit that helps us to use jolting nades. I'll show you that later on when we get to our 3.0, but let's finish off talking about these mods first. So you can see here, I have some stasis targeting, some arc targeting, stasis unflinching, arc unflinching, and then some arc dexterity, so we can pull out that sidearm a little faster in the heat of the moment. Otherwise, I like to use a very orb-centric build. What I mean by that is I have on Firepower, Heavy-Handed, and Reaper. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to read any of these individually. But essentially, if we get a kill with our nade, with our Empowered Melee, or after using our Dodge and we use a Weapon Kill, then we will drop an Orb of Power. If we pick up those Orbs of Power, what's going to happen is three different things. One, our Innervation will proc, our Absolution will proc, and our Orbs of Restoration will proc. All of those proc each time, and they will give us a bunch of Ability Energy back. The last thing that's going to give us Ability Energy back is two Bomber Mods. So every time we do use our Dodge, we'll get around 20-25% to 25 of our Grenade Energy back, which of course the Shinobu's Vow build is very, very good. A lot of times you'll see me do a Dodge as I leave leave the actual spawn just so I can get a little bit of grenade energy back and get one back to me before I hit the actual fight. Now over here on our Arc 3.0, I'm going to touch on the stuff that is most important and go in detail on those and go really fast on the stuff that doesn't really matter. So first of all, Gathering Storm doesn't matter too much. Uh, you will get these supers this weekend, but you know, this super is just decent. After that, I'm using Blink. If you want to jump around like some little freaky grasshopper made out of electricity, that's fine, but I'm going to be blinking. Uh, here, I do have on my Marksman Dodge, so when I dodge, it's going to reload my weapons. Very nice stuff to have in the heat of moment, especially with a sidearm that goes in very hard on your enemies. After that, I have on Combination Blow. If we do kill somebody with this, we'll get full recharge on our class ability energy and we will do a small heal which is very good to keep you alive in the heat of the battle after that of course i have skip grenades on you know i have shinobu's vow on so throwing flashbang grenades in there is something we could do if you want to knock the eyeballs out of our enemies but i would rather just use the thing that actually works with my exotic over here we have flow state so usually when you are amplified you can see on the right side here you're going to get increased movement speed and weapon handling but 
when you are amplified with flow state, you get a few extra things. You can see down here in the bottom left that you are amplified, your dodge recharges more quickly, you're more resilient while dodging, and your reload speed is greatly increased. And there's a few ways that we can actually get amplified. So first of all, taking an enemy out while they are jolted is one way. How are we going to jolt our targets? Well, first of all, we can use Tempest Strike. This is going to shoot forward a wave of electricity. If this hits our enemies, it will do a good amount of damage, around 100 to 111 damage, somewhere in that range, depending on the enemy's power level and resilience level. Now, that's going to jolt the target. If you do kill them after that, your flow state will proc, you'll get amplified. Good stuff. Down here, we do have Jolting Nades, like I said, Spark of Shock. Now, this is going to lose you 10 Discipline. If you cannot keep 100 Discipline in a Shinobu's Vow build, I would recommend that you don't run Spark of Shock, because the Jolting Nades are great, but I think 100 Discipline is better. But that's up to you. Uh, decide how you want to run that. Right here, Spark of Recharge, another great fragment when it comes to our grenade builds. This says while you're critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerates more quickly. Pretty straightforward stuff right there, just helps us get our abilities back much more often. Right here, I just have this on because I wanted plus 10 recovery so I could actually get 100 recup and 100 discipline. Um, just like every week, you know, I always talk about this. You don't need 100 mobile, especially something like your blink hunter. You just really don't. Uh, well, a big part of that is going to come from your spark of haste right here. When you are sprinting for a second, you're going to get plus 30 resilience, plus 30 recup, and plus 30 mobility. Let me say that again for the shorties in the back. Plus 30 mobility when you're sprinting. Pretty simple stuff right there. Uh, that's going to boost us all the way up to 70. Usually I have a lightweight frame weapon that'll take me up another plus 20. I do not have that today. But if you want to run a lightweight frame weapon instead of the sidearm in your build, then you can go ahead and do that to keep yourself at 100 mobile. But if you also want to just have a higher base mobility stat because that's something you really care about, that's completely fine. Just understand I like running mine a little lower just because I like having 100 resil or recov, excuse me, and discipline. But uh, don't go in the comments freaking out going, hey Roger, you need to have a higher mobile because I really don't um but if you want to run a higher that's completely fine now all that being said we're about ready to go ahead and get into this gameplay shout out to two of my puffer people and some of my good friends nowadays cranky panky and bot iris they helped me in the actual gameplay today we were running the three stack i wasn't able to talk to them because i wanted to make sure i could get some nice no talking gameplay for you guys as i do my voice over over it in the gameplay breakdown but shout out to them if you want to be a puffer person too then go ahead and click that join button below this video that's my channel membership that extra support really helps it going a long way so i can make the best content possible for you guys but if you do just want to leave me a like and subscribe i'd very much appreciate that uh, be on the lookout soon i will have my warlock video out for this weekend uh, if you want to go ahead and give that a watch i'd very much appreciate that and at any point in this video if you think you want to learn how to blink just like me then go ahead and stick around to the end of the video and you can check out the full blink journey playlist that i have on my channel it's a playlist that entails everything you need to know to become a blink master yourself from movement guides map guides what weapons you should use how to actually use those weapons with your blink and so on and so forth so if you're interested in that then go ahead and stick around to the end of the video and you can go in that playlist next but with all that in mind i think we're ready to get in this gameplay so without further ado let's go ahead and blink on into it so right off the bat here it's a pretty good build i gotta tell you guys i like this gun i like how it works with shinobu's vow the skip grenades easy team shots especially if you're in a three stack like this so you're gonna see pretty clean scope i mean the box on it it can be a little thick and especially the bottom of the gun is thicker than a latina mommy all right let me tell you that right off the bat but other than that i think it's pretty clean you can see i hit some nice shots there got a little two piece for my team at the beginning of the round will they clutch it up um i mean no not really they had to res me and then i clutched it up because your boy don't lose rounds except for all the ones that i lose now that being said what else about this gun? Well, I think it's very solid. Like I said, it's not the best archetype when it comes to our actual scout rifles. It can't three tap like I like to see from my scout rifles, my Tears of Contrition, my Jade Rabbit, my Polaris Lance even. However, it's still very solid. Whenever I do get those times that I'm actually able to get the uh, actual passive on this thing going, I'll make sure I point that out to you guys. You can see on the left side right now, Creeping Attrition is on because I hit four headshots and see right there i actually am able to start slowing those guys i got the tithing harvest flew over to me reloaded my gun because i was able to keep going so that's what i was talking about right there so when you get multiple targets you can flip between them right it can go over pretty well you can actually get use out of it and that's the main thing i was worried about when i first saw this and i realized that well it's gonna only proc and then immediately just the person will be dead so how will that be good in pvp but once i started playing with it I very quickly noticed, oh, that's how it's going to be good. You can see some of the uh, sidearm plays here, of course, going in with that is very fun too. Um, but once you finally start getting the hang of it and you realize how good it actually is for that crowd control, for those 1v2s, even 1v3s, if you can keep your health up, it's actually quite an amazing gun. 
Uh, when it comes to the design of the gun, I think it's pretty cool. You know, it looks like someone took their slimy cock, put some LED lights inside of it, and that's just kind of shooting out bullets. And honestly, in my opinion, there's not many cooler things than a slimy pepper. Let's, let's stop talking about it. It's a cool looking gun. You know, it does have an ornament uh, if you want to pay Bungie an egregious amount of money, then you can get a little viced looking ornament for it, which looks pretty sexy, but I'm not going to give those greedy pieces of trash my money, to be honest with you. Um, but if you do, you know, that's that's up to you. you. You spend it however you want, big boy. Now, you can see here, I am throwing in my nades. People are going to be going crazy on the Titans this weekend, just like that dude that I had to kick out of my, uh, you know, recording at the beginning of the intro. I don't, I don't know who that guy was. He just like was doing it intro when I walked in with the worst build I've ever seen on. I was just like, who, who are you? I didn't really find out. I, I kind of tried to kick him out. He, he jumped out of my window, which is worrying because I'm on the second floor. I heard a crack. I decided not to look down there because, you know, it's not my problem. So he's probably fine. Now, that being said, you can see I'm coming around the side here. Again, going to get some good use out of creeping attrition there. Uh, I probably could have got a reload just from the Tithe Harvest. Trying to get a blink shot on this guy, but unfortunately I was not able to aim down sights fast enough after using the blink because handling is not maxed out like it is with Astro Strike Burst. So keep that in mind, you know, not the best for blink shotting, but for jump shotting, it's pretty good. It seems pretty solid at that. Um, in terms of the flinch that it deals to enemies, it's not going to deal much flinch at all. I, I know I tested it in some private matches with some friends, just seeing what the actual damage profile on this thing looks like, what the flinch looks like, um, how much you can actually get the use out of the passives. And I will tell you, the flints you apply to other people with this thing is extremely minuscule, uh, almost non-existent. Uh, you can see I have a heavy machine gun here for most of these clips. And it's, you know, I, I'm not expecting it to flinch a bunch because it's a four tap to the head. But yeah, don't expect to face off with snipers and then when they snipe you, be like, Oh, what the heck? You didn't even do any flinch. Like, yeah, it, it really doesn't. It doesn't supply much flinch at all. You can see this guy aping at me and I just punch him in the face. Just like mommy used to spank him on the ass cheeks. Had to sit him down there real quick, remind him where he came from. So when it comes to this weekend, you're going to see a lot of the same crutching stuff as usual. You're going to see your mortal target locks, which I actually did want to talk about a little bit. Um, but before we do that, I want to say you're going to see a lot of uh, Laymons, stuff like that, and just a ton of snipers like Cloud Strike. Again, another very balanced gun. Love to see it. Now, a few of those things that I was talking about right there are actually getting nerfed in the mid-season patch, including target lock, which is the biggest thing that's making Immortal crazy, right? So I was excited to see that. Um, it's getting the amount of damage that it actually will do once target lock procs turned down, which is good. But when it comes to Bungie, I don't trust anything I see in terms of nerfs until it's in the live client. Kill clip going crazy on the sidearm right there to smack that guy down. Um, but yeah, I, I really just don't trust it because we've had so many times now where we have like terror of us situations where they're like, oh yeah, we're going to nerf it. We're going to nerf the little terror right here. And if you still see Terraba nowadays, it's still completely overpowered. The only reason people don't realize that it's still overpowered is because everyone stopped using it as soon as Bungie said the word nerf. Because for some reason, to the entire Destiny player base, they see the word nerf and they think that they just can never touch the gun again. When most of the time, Bungie doesn't know how to nerf things hard enough. So usually the things they nerf are still extremely strong, if not still overpowered. And you know, I'm just scared that a normal target lock is going to be one of those things that stays that strong. But um, I guess we'll have to see when it comes to Laymon. Hopefully its usage goes way down. Everyone's sick of that. I mean, the team shots with Laymon this weekend are just ridiculous. Uh, I had to show you guys this at the beginning of this round. Look, even this guy's disappointed in himself for using this fucking build. I literally think that thing is super glued to his little hands. I don't think he can take it off. And he, he that, that, that guy right there is like the pinnacle definition of crutch. His wife divorced him because he wouldn't take the immortal out of his hands during sex. You know, I, and I can't even feel bad for him. If he's not going to appreciate the little Latino thick mommy, like we were talking about earlier, I'll do it. Shit, get that guy out of there. I don't got an immortal going on, baby. I'll, I'll take care of you. I swear. I swear is it. But that's what I'm saying, guys. He's just going to see that all weekend. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that has been for months. Oh man, it's really riding my testes, let me tell you guys. It's really bunching them up, slapping them side to side like a little boxer punching a speed bag. And oof, it drives you wild. Now, it's actually funny, it got me thinking the last time that we had cat points on Midtown Trials was back in the Solar 3.0 meta, right? When Lorely Splendor was overpowered. And the Titans with Lorely on could one tap you to the body with Lorenz Driver or Arbalist. Do you guys remember that meta? That's two times ago when we had Midtown and it was cat point trials. Um, 
yeah, it was a terrible weekend. It was actually in definitely my top five worst weekends of all time. Like weekends suck nowadays, just like consistently. But back then, like, oh, that, that weekend was absolutely dog breath. Like, holy shit. We're talking you picked up a girl at the club. And even after 15 drinks, you still need to put the paper bag over her head. Like, we're talking that ugly. It was a bad weekend. Um, this one, not that bad. Not to that level of bad. Which is saying something because it's still pretty bad. You're going to see a lot of the bubbles. Uh, you know, a lot of the wells that you're always going to see nowadays in cat point trials so gathering storm is good for that i don't remember i have a couple of ca uh, gathering storm plays for you guys but i don't think any where i shut down stuff they actually buffed it recently and that was nice so you can shut down wells especially if you can hit it straight on the well you can actually break it um, when it comes to bubbles though if you throw it on the bubble it's still not going to break the bubble unless you actually provide some more gunshot or if you let it tick out the entire time which takes a long time um but if you can get it inside the bubble you can actually like kill the stuff people inside the bubble which is cool uh notice we're gonna get some use out of our creeping attrition here and tithing harvest i believe is actually did it send something to me i think it should have right i think it should have if it didn't i don't know um but yeah so gathering storm while i still think it's 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 better now i definitely feel that it's better it's still not like top tier and it's kind of sad and that's kind of my thing is like when they buff stuff like this it just feels like they don't buff it enough and then when they nerf things they don't nerf them enough they're just always so scared it feels like to go in one solid direction and it just like ugh, it just screws the meta up for so long i don't know what to even do with it at this point but that's just kind of where we are um again if you do want to see my warlock build i'm gonna have that out uh, later today tomorrow I, I don't even know at this point life is a mess but if you do want to watch that add some fun with nezarax sin actually use some void weapons there and had a fun time and i gotta say overall I, I kind of just wish on this map, and that loops back into the meta, that you could just rush more with things like a shotgun, but it's so tough to use shotguns on this map, guys, if you're not on Titan, that is, um, because they're just holding every angle with a Titan shield. There's a bug in the game right now where you can get infinite uh, ability energy, infinite class ability energy by using the utility kickstart. Bungie actually removed, or uh, disabled, I should say, utility kickstart earlier today because of that, which is just like way to go Bungie! You, you did it again you shit the bed like a third grader who just ate the biggest bean burrito of his life and it's like why how do you keep doing this see we smack this guy down at the end of the round here while i also stand in the circle i don't really like standing in circles i try not to uh but one of my teammates that i was with well both my teammates i mean i can't blame them they want to get a flawless and we got close a few times uh so if they were standing in circle i was kind of just like whatever at this point i'll just stand in it with you <laughs> i can't even feel bad when i'm against like a full titan stack and they're standing in circle, I'm just like, you know what? As soon as I see the enemy team doesn't want to actually fight, then I'll just stand in the circle too. Shout out to my teammate there, Cranky, absolutely smacking that guy up, saving my life a little bit, because I was one shot off, which enabled me to get around here with a nice Shinobu's Val skip grenade and spray these guys down going invis, so it's really hard to actually see their hitboxes, because, hey, that's just another thing that works completely fine, right? Invis. Especially in bright maps with crazy lighting, and you just can't see the enemy. Wow, so much fun. I love that. Yeah. It's called sarcasm. You know what really annoys me? Look at the top of the screen. Look at the enemy's supers right now. If that Well of Radiance was in the middle, then their supers would make a nice big old schlonger in, 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 in testices, in testicles. You know what I mean? Ooh, look at this. Beautiful shots right there. Creeping attrition and tithing harvest going crazy. That is a beautiful, perfect demonstration of what you can do with this gun. Do you know how hard it is to hit somebody with a 180 scout at that range when they're spraying you down with whatever he had, an SMG or whatever he had? It's pretty hard, considering flinch, how much zoom you have on your weapon. It can be very difficult to track at that range. However, with this gun, it can be less of a worry, because if you can get the creeping attrition going, you can put enough slime juice on them to absolutely slow them down like a little fucking slug, and then you can just spray their shit down, you know? You can make them look like a little bag of escargot when you dump some salt on it, and that shit just dries up like a raisin. And I love that. It's really cool when a gun can actually do something unique like that without being overpowered, you know? It's not often they can make exotics anymore that aren't just like batshit stupid overpowered, but they actually did it with this one. This one is just fun, and I really appreciate that and respect it. Now, we don't have the catalyst yet. Perfect uh, example of creeping attrition here again. 
you'd love to see that. It's just, it's so good for two pieces, guys. It really is. It, it is really good on this map. If you're wondering what you should use this weekend, definitely recommend striking this build out. Teething, or Tithing Harvest is good, yes, but Creeping Attrition on this gun works so well with your skip grenades too, especially with something like a multi-kill clip on your sidearm here. You can go in, you can just get amplified easily. I knew this guy was going to run back at me with a shotgun, so I dodged backwards and spray him down one more time, and it's just beautiful stuff. This build is actually just extremely solid, so again, if you really do need a build this weekend, I highly recommend this one. Now, this is probably a fine time to mention, and I'll speak about this in a few other videos, especially as we get closer to next week, but we're going to have Iron Banner next week, which is awesome. Um, I'd like to do an all blink iron banner event if i can getting our actual boost from this gun right here got to use the perks we'd love to see that but unfortunately this time around on iron banner just know that i'm not uh gonna be available there's some unfortunate stuff that i have to deal with in life so i'm not gonna be here so i do apologize that we're not gonna be able to have that event this time around uh, i really appreciate everyone who's turned out at any point in all the all blink iron banner events that we have done but just know that in the future, uh, if you are interested in those, make sure you are like subscribed and join on the Discord, the Blinkville Discord server. I'll have that linked in the top right and in the description on every video, but on this one too, of course, if you want to go ahead and check that out. Look at this jolt right here. I smack these guys down. One dies to the sidearm, one dies to the jolt. That procs my multi-kill clip so I can go up on the next guy and smack him down super easy with the benefits of my team shot right there. And I love stuff like that. I've been wanting to use this sidearm for a long time, but it's just hasn't been a good map and then i haven't been wanting to use sidearms in general because of how strong smgs are right now you know it's just tough to use them because they don't have a usable range right now because smgs are just destroying them in their range and they can't outrange the smgs so what, what are they supposed to do and i know that they just talked about this in the last week's twab where they're trying to make their ranges for these guns more you know uniform and i really hope they can do that correctly because i would i would love to see sm or uh SMG be brought down, yes, but sidearms be brought up. Now, that being said, we are going to head into our last play here. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you do want to leave me a like or subscribe, I'd very much appreciate that. And if you really, 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 I don't know why I can't talk right there, but if you really want to join my puffer people, then go ahead, click that join button below this video, and you can check that out too. Hopefully, I entertained you a little bit today. Uh, it took some stress out of your day if you've been playing some trials and you're probably pretty stressed. But, uh, you know... That's, that's just how it is nowadays. But either way, I do hope that you uh, can have some kind of a good time hopping with some friends and just enjoy it a little bit to the best of your ability. And maybe this build can help you do that. Now, all that being said, I'm just going to let this last play play out for you guys. And that is it for me today. So as always, have a great day, Guardians.